Welcome to my fish room. <laughs> These are the diamond, uh, gold diamond uh, gobies or sand sifters. Uh, as you can tell, they like moving sand. And there's also uh, some uh, Christmas Ross in here, I think. Carpenter Ross or Christmas Ross, one of them. But um, they're under the sand right now. But uh, yeah, these guys are comical. They dig and they go through your sand and your gravel. And uh, if you're wondering about the smudges, yeah, we didn't bring the last. Yeah, we got these new shrimp. Uh, called Big Eye Dancing Shrimp. Okay. We can find them as pictures, but we can't find them with any name. What? Oh, all the variety of what about that? They're the same family as the camel shrimp. They're all nocturnal. Yeah, so I don't see them during the day when the lights are off. He's all over the Oh, the peppermint shrimp in there is full of eggs. And eventually we'll get around to breeding them. But uh, this is a really cool new shrimp that uh, we just started getting in. And it seems reef safe and reef friendly. It likes the sand, that's for sure. Because there's the other one. And why are they in the critter keepers? Because they uh, got to be picked up tomorrow and we didn't want to have to chase them all around the tank. Okay, but the serious go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. And the serious go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. And the serious go marching one by one, one of them stops to have some fun and they all go marching down, around the earth, boom, boom. Boom. The Sarius go marching two by two. <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron just noticed that all the Nasarius were in a big clump in a huddle here. Did you feed them or something, or they just did it? No, it's where this is shooting in at them. I don't know. I didn't feed anybody. Yeah? I don't know. Well, That's what the Nasarius did, they go marching one by one. Bye. Okay. That there is a red, wet Morella wrasse. Apparently. Oh, that's so cool. Aaron's got my camera, so I'm using my iPhone. Oh, he's so cool. Yeah, this guy wasn't around before. He was under the gravel, but this is the first time we got him in, too. I think we got one in on another shipment, but we lost him. We could never find him. And yeah, it's the camera shake, and I'm pretty excited about this one. But look at his eyes, they're so cool. Well, apparently, he's peaceful. This is with Mandarin Gobi. Keep the lid on. Go so yeah, if you're looking for something a little unusual, we well, have it. Okay, we have a bunch of clownfish. Okay, that one there, the sea bay with the narrow shoulder, somebody brought that back. If you look at the one down below, you can see he's got a blue tinge to him. That's a blue striped clownfish. Now this light isn't really ideal. 
so you can't see it as well as you might, but uh, as you can tell, we feed these guys a lot. And I think the fourth time I've fed them since I got here. Okay, my boy is in Mount Tremblant skiing. No, snowboarding. He likes that better. But the eel gobies. So there's tomato clownfish, fire clownfish, blue stripe clownfish, clark eye clownfish, and uh, Ocellaris clownfish. Nemo! You're looking for him, we found him. Hey. 